This is a Smith Corona electric 210. It's probably a 70s. And I'm going to be doing a typing demo for it today. Just so you know that the um, noise in the background is my heater. It is not the typewriter. So um, this is fully electric. Um, so it's electric with power return. But let's take a look around the typewriter. So these black levers in the back are going to release your carriage. You can hear the bell. You can set your margins right here. If you want something to hold your paper, that's what this bar is for. Over here on the right side, this is your paper release. So when you pull on this, it releases this metal bar right across here that bumps again the against the roller and that's what holds your paper nice and tight against the roller and if you need to adjust it or pull it out this releases the tension on that so you can do it okay so this is what you'll see the one two and three on the left side this is uh the line spacing so when you return hit return it'll advance either one line two lines or three on the inside, if you pull up and open, this is called the escapement right here. And you'll see we have put in a brand new ribbon for you. It takes a universal ribbon. Uh, just be sure to uh, view the, how the ribbon is placed through the guide wire. See that came out. It is common for the ribbon to come out during shipment. So just make sure it's in between the metal guides there. Black is on top, red is on the bottom. For your ribbon, when it gets to the end, the type will get real faint. That doesn't mean you need to replace your ribbon. It only means you need to reverse the direction because the ribbon is made to be used many times. When you do that with, on the left side, you'll see this lever. It says rib rev, that's ribbon reversal. And so you just go back and forth many times until you've exhausted your ribbon and then you can replace it. This is the side where it's your color selector. There's black and then red. Your tabs can be set and cleared here. And one note, we did paint this a really pretty pink and it's, it's beautiful, but there is a minor, um, I don't know what the right word is, and we've, we've um, painted multiple times and um, sanded it down, but there's just a couple little areas that that are um, imperfect, imperfections right at the top. So you can um, just be aware of that. And then um, this copy set with the numbers, this just determines how hard your type bars, which are these things right here. It's not turned on, so I can't pull them up. How hard they hit the strike bars hit the roller. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this on. So with this typewriter, we have a half a space, and we have a full space, and then we have a power space. All right, and then the power return. So let's go ahead and type and see how she does. So I haven't mentioned on other videos, but I will on this one. Sometimes you'll see like a special looking key up here on the number pad and it's usually the number one or can sometimes it be the number one and whatever key is on the end. When you see this special cap, that means that this is interchangeable, which means you can open this up and you can pull up the type bar and chain this head right here pulls off and you can put a different symbol right here. And those are purchased separately. You'll have to look on eBay or something like that to find interchangeable um, heads that you can uh, use on your typewriter. And so whenever you see a special key, that means that that particular key can be changed out. All right.
On electric typewriters, there are three keys that have an auto repeat on them. If you hold them down, that would be the dash, the X, and the period. And so those have the auto repeat function on it. Um, the type on this is really clear and dark. I, I like it very much. So it, let me redo this one, um, and I'll show you what happened. Okay, so nothing is wrong with the typewriter, but if you look closely, you'll see that um, it was typing on top of each other, and so some typewriters do this. When it gets to the end of the ribbon spool, it may not advance um, the carriage or it gets lighter. So what happened is, is I had the ribbons turned going in the wrong direction so it was right at the end of the spool. As soon as I reversed the direction then everything typed just fine. So that's just a good example for you to see what might happen when you get to the end of your ribbon spool. Okay, so this types really well. The Electras are some of my favorite typewriters. Um, these are great to have in your house for crafts. So if you want to use cardstock, um, if you want a typewriter to type on and you're typing a book, I highly recommend an electric because you can get a lot more done. Um, or anything that you need forms filled out or anything like that. One note, most of these electrics, uh, even though they come in a carrying case, are pretty heavy. Um, not probably ideal for taking with you to the coffee shop. This is something that's gonna um, stay in your office or dorm room or uh, where, wherever you choose to put it. You can view up close images on our Etsy shop <coughs> along with more details. Thank you for watching.